Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. And this is one of my favorite times of the year. Heavyweight title fights. Oh, man. Yeah, anytime this happens, oh, wow. Uh, my favorite weight class, my favorite title. Um, yeah, it's like when we get to those... Because, you know, throughout the whole calendar year, they kind of spread out the weight classes and... You know, this guy fights, defends his belt, this guy defends his belt. And when we get to the heavyweights, I get the most excited because it's the most exciting division. It's for the title, baddest man on the planet. And um, so here we are. This is a pre-fight show for UFC 198. Fabricio Verdum, the UFC heavyweight championship of the world, undisputed, uh, defending against Stipe Miocic. And this is going to be one of the greatest fights of all time in front of 45,000 plus. Uh, you got the best that ever is, the best that ever was, and the best that ever will be. Um, Fabrizio Verdum uh, versus Stipe Miocic, uh, the Heartbreak Kid, uh, Mr. Uh, Russell something. Well, <laughs> he was a collegiate champ. Uh, well, a collegiate... Um, wrestling, wrestling all-star, uh, and um, uh, yeah, he's uh, known as the dead man, the phenom, uh, yeah, Stipe, <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be an exciting fight, Stipe, you know, having um, a lot of notable wins in the UFC and going the distance with Junior Dos Santos and was able to survive five rounds, and a lot of people say he should have won that fight. Um, and then him knocking out Andre Arlovsky uh, was pretty impressive, and it was a quick knockout, too. So you got Sipe Miocic. Yeah, this pre-fight show for the main card, and this is the main event. And, um, you know, I'm picking uh, Sipe Miocic, I mean, uh, to use his boxing to keep uh, Fabrice over Doom at bay momentarily, but I think ultimately... Um, the knockout power and then the um, the length and height uh, that um, Verdum knows how to use well on any of his opponents uh, since he has um, advantage in a lot of his opponents. This one is kind of, you know, they're, they're even, but it's just, uh, they're fairly even. However, uh, Fabrice of Verdum, uh, when he throws punches, he, he's a counter-striker, and I think uh, it'll just take a little bit to land uh, to possibly rock uh, Stipe, and I think at that point he will shoot for a takedown because he will be confident on his ground game, and I think um, round two submission. I think it'll be late in round two. Uh, Fabrice of Verdum gets a submission victory. I'm thinking um, guillotine. I think he gets in his guard, gets him on the ground, gets in his guard, and then sinks in um, a guillotine. Um, for, yeah, second round submission victory. Um, yeah, Kenny Johnson, if you're watching, um, yeah, just, you know, make sure his wrestling is on par because uh, Stipe's takedown defense is going to be really good. But I love Stipe, too. I like both these guys. I'm happy whoever wins. Uh, I, I just want to see both of them not get too banged up so they can live to see another day uh, quickly. And... Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Sipe win the belt down the line, but right now I'm picking Verdum to win this fight, but I think Sipe puts in a good effort. Yeah, then in the um, co-main event, we have uh, Jacques Ray Souza versus Vitor Belfort in a middleweight clash of the ages, and I'm picking Jacques Ray Souza here by second round submission. His grappling credentials, in my opinion, well, you can look up the stats, is uh, as... Uh, just ecstatically um, better than Vitor Belfort. Vitor Vitor Belfort has great submission skills. I believe he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, Jacare Souza, his uh, submission skills a whole different level. And he's younger and he's has more energy. And Vitor Belfort will be tough in the first round, but I think second round Souza gets it done because Belfort will be gassed out after the first round. And then when it gets to uh, the second round, 
Sosa will rock him and then um, get in his guard and go for a submission. And I think, yeah, um, probably rear naked choke. I could see rear naked choke uh, mid to late in the second round. Uh, so yeah, second round submission victory for Sosa. That's my pick. Then in a catchweight bout, we got Chris Cyborg versus Leslie Smith. I met both these ladies. They're both uh, amazing ladies. And I'm happy either way here, but um, I'm picking um, Cyborg to win first round knockout mid to late. Um, I think that um, Leslie Smith may hold her own for a minute or two and then just, it, it, but it's going to come down to the power of Cyborg. Power, the, the power of Cyborg, you know, she hits hard and it'll just take a few shots to land and then she will eventually uh, wear out Leslie Smith and I don't see Cyborg jumping um, guard here for a submission. I think um, she'll just go for the knockout, um, get her up against the cage and go for the knockout, but uh, I'm happy either way. Uh, good luck to both of you. Then in the light heavyweight division, we have Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Corey Anderson. Corey Anderson, winner of season 19 in the Ultimate Fighter at light heavyweight. Uh, and um, alongside Eddie Gordon, who won it at middleweight. Uh, from They're both from Team Edgar. And I think that Corey Anderson's a height and reach and his wrestling and his power and just he has a lot of life in his career. I think he gets it done here, and it's going to be a short night for um, Shogun, who I think it's going to be early to mid in the first round. I got this fight being a quick knockout. Um, yeah, it's not going to take long for Corey Anderson to um, throw some bombs on Shogun and knock him out quick. Uh, and I think uh, Shogun may contemplate retirement after this fight. Um, yeah, because he's just had too many losses and too many beatings. Uh, I think that Shogun will um, uh, expire in this fight fairly quick. I got this is probably one of the most lopsided, quickest fights on the whole card. Um, yeah, so but it'll be fun, exciting because what if Shogun holds his own, is able to avoid the heavy shots of Corey Anderson? Um, I mean, he could he could try to submit Corey Anderson, but I just don't see it happening. I think Corey's takedown defense will hold up and. Corey will just um, love to keep this fight standing and knows that he could at some point knock him out and he will. Um, so, yeah, quick first round knockout for Corey Anderson. Then, to kick off the main card in the welterweight division, we have Warley Alves, um, Ultimate Fighter Season uh, 3, uh, Brazil uh, alumni, and eventual uh, winner. Uh, yeah, he was the... Uh, middleweight that dropped down to welterweight and, and then we got uh brian barbarina brian barbarina is uh famous for knocking out or i mean dismantling sage northcut um finishing him off um yeah i believe that was by submission yeah and then warley alves um he's just on a tear and i got warley alves winning by second round submission here i think brian barbarina's submission skills are pretty good uh, however, um, Worley Alva is just on a whole new level altogether. I mean, this is Ultimate Fighter winner from a really talent-rich season in Ultimate Fighter. We had talented heavyweights that um, dropped down to light heavyweight and middleweight, and then you had talented middleweights that uh, dropped down to, to welterweight like Worley Alves. Um, and then, well, just whoever stayed at the weight class, of course, and just, there's, you know, you had shoe face. Uh, from Team Vanderlei Silva on there, and he looked great um, on the show. So yeah, this is uh, Warley Alva's night to come out and get. I'm picking second round submission, and he does work on Brian Barbarina in the first round because he has experience and he's a tough winner for a reason. So there you have it. There's my predictions on the ultimate uh, on <laughs> UFC 198. Stay, stay tuned in the coming days for my post fight show of UFC 100. 198 and um, yeah check out the prelims you got Damian Maya versus Matt Brown and the Fox Sports 1 prelims headliner at welterweight it's going to be a great fight uh, grappler versus striker obviously and um, yeah so until then see ya